We are delighted to be at this conference because it is bringing in a variety of players, not just uh, the ministers of health, but also the partners, the donors, and a lot of youths have come in. So this is a very important uh, conference for us. And for Zimbabwe, we have got one of the highest contraceptive uh, prevalence rates in Africa. In fact, if, if not the highest, our prevalence rate in terms of modern contraceptives is at, uh, at 68 percent, which is extremely high. But we still have an unmet need of about 12 percent. And our aim is that by 20, 2030 or 2020, we should actually be at about 6.5 percent in terms of unmet need. And therefore, we're working towards that. But to be able to achieve that, we need to make more commitments in, uh, in uh, uh, family planning and contraceptives. And the first commitment is that we must expand a method mix, particularly with long-acting uh, contraceptives, pr uh, probably the injectables ones. Because as it is now, that is the, uh, one of the areas that is still missing, uh, that is still not comprehensively covered. But we also need to look at all the uh, people who have not been reached, particularly the young people. Uh, the young people is very controversial in Zimbabwe, uh, how far you can go into comprehensive sexual edu sexuality education in schools. So we need to look and see how we can manage and in, in fact help uh, children who are in school who are in danger of getting unwanted pregnancies, who are in danger of, of getting, uh, uh, as it were, uh, 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 abortions. So we need to look at that. We are also aware that we need to integrate our, our, our family planning services with HIV and AIDS. We are very skeptical to put family planning as a silo. We need to integrate it with other services. It makes it cheaper, it is more cost effective, it's easier to manage and that is one of our commitments. The further commitment of course is that we need to look at do domestic financing. Uh, as far as we're concerned now, most of the contraceptives, most of the commodities are, are donor funded, but for the government we pay all the staff that work in our family planning clinics, except of course those who are in the private sector, which contributes, the private sector in Zimbabwe contributes 25% of family planning services, and we're pleased with that. But we need to expand more the involvement of the private sector, particularly when they do social marketing. Yeah, social marketing is something that has come in where they just market not just contraceptives in terms of condoms, but also where they are able to look at the real contraceptives in terms of uh, 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 tablets, in terms of uh, long-acting injectables. We want the private sector to get involved, we want them to get involved particularly also in terms of advocacy. Uh, I've just been watching a film where some of the private sector organizations are now able to put up communication strategies that span in terms of uh, stories on television, but geared towards uh, the youths. So that is an area that I think we also want to look at when we go back home to Zimbabwe. So in few words, really we need to expand our method mix and also the long-acting uh, uh, injectables and then, f uh, and then push ourselves so that we do have a, a, an unmet need of 6.5 by 2030.